Hello everyone, this is a 2014 Nissan Pathfinder. The transmission was changed and uh, the vehicle still has the JADA code. So what I'm doing right now is to uh, scan the barcode and then get the IP characterization which I'll be using it to completely uh, program the vehicle and get the code out of uh, the system because uh, after checking uh, the part number and the calibration that is on the Nissan website it shows that it's up to date so we have to manually put uh, the IP characterization to be able to get the JETA code out so after hooking up the scan tool confirm the vehicle information and, and uh, proceed to click on OK. Now from here we go to auto scan, hit on false scan, Okay. And this is taking a while. At least we have our maintainer hooked up and the voltage is showing about 18.7. And also we make sure our radio is off the AC should be off just to prevent any voltage draw yeah, okay and there we go it's pulling the information So in all, uh, our focus is on the transmission, but uh, we can see there are other codes. These are parts codes, and we can quickly erase them. So when we click on the quick erase, uh, the transmission still shows the JADA code is on, but at least uh, the others are being erased for now. Okay, so the erasure is done, but the JADA code is still on. So we go into the transmission, then go into special functions, and we'll go to write IP characterization or IP characteristics and with this in order to start we've already um, scanned and gotten the calibration so what we have to do make sure the vehicle is uh, the engine is not running then depress the accelerator in order to for the, 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 the shifter in reverse, we also have to step on the on the brake. So at least the accelerator paddle is depressed. Then put the shifter in reverse. Okay, so we have that in reverse now. All right, so. We then hit on OK. So it wants us to turn the vehicle off and then back on. So since the shifter is still in reverse, this might likely trigger a code which would address that later on probably uh, 
yeah, and it realized that uh, the issue is fixed, it will show that it is in the past. Okay, so now it wants us to put the shift in pack. All the engine is off, but the ignition is on. So we turn the vehicle back on, then hit on uh, OK. So what it did, it cleared all the values that were in there previously, and it's now going to allow us to put the new values, which is the one that uh, the scan bar that is on the transmission. And that came with the new transmission that was replaced, or the donor transmission. So we have our calibration here. We copy that. And then go back to the tool, then paste it. So we paste it here. Then hit on OK. And it says data writing uh, completed successfully. So we can now hit on escape. And also we can clear the deterioration to reset it to zero. Uh, it's not clearing. Let's, that should have taken care of it, but okay. We hit on escape again, and it shows this thing is still current, but we we'll have to clear and then to rescan it to see if the code is still in there or not. So here we are, remember when we, the shifter was in park, sorry, the shifter was in reverse and we turned the vehicle off, so that has set that code. So we'll just clear everything and then uh, we'll rescan the vehicle after that. So after clearing, we have another new code, and this has nothing to do with uh, the transmission. Okay, so let's t we turn the vehicle off and back on. That way, we can scan the entire vehicle again. So hopefully, this will be our last scan, just to verify that everything is okay with the transmission. Okay, so everything is true. We don't have any transmission code and that shows uh, our calibration is successful. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.